press F. You just say, you so just you, say, oh, dude, just drop an F. People will just go like, you'll, you'll say, the chat. you'll say like, oh, dude, I got a flat tire today. And people will go like, oh, F. Yeah. <laughs> Like literally, I I, I I think that I've been convinced. I can agree with that. Can you imagine though? That could have been that could have been different. Imagine if somebody was playing with keybinds where like E was the interaction. Mm. That would have been that would have been you would have said press E. Cheeks will say that. Cheeks anyways. would say F. <laughs> Cheeks, Cheeks would say F. F. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. An alternate universe where Cheeks screams F. But look, but we're like this is like the only difference, right? Is that like is that like the Call Those of Duty meme was press inverted. E to to pay respects and then Cheeks shouts F. Mm -hmm. Oh god, that's really weird. All right, well, this won't be weird. Maybe it will, but it'll be fun for sure. Ooh. We got Desley sitting down, who I know is going to commentate a little bit later, uh, which is great because he's he's an amazing like player commentator mind. Mm -hmm. Going up against Animated Mel, formerly the artist formerly known as YBM. Uh, YBM standing for Ya Boy Mel. Uh huh. He's here. He's ready. I actually didn't know that. And he has got... I believe he's played against Desley rather recently. Oh, really? No, 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 no. It wasn't, it wasn't Desley that I saw him play against. It was another Palutena player, though. It was... Uh, oh, my God. My brain is drawing a blank. Our lovely SoCal friend who lives in Texas. Mage. Oh, God, Mage. Thank you, Chase. Wow. My brain hurt for a moment. I love that guy. Yeah, there were, there was actually a game where animated Mel, animated as he is, was playing against, was playing against Mage, was actively getting three stocked, and he was yelling, "No, no, 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 no! Don't do it to me!" the whole time. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was so funny. That reminds me of the time Dakpo commentated his own set. Yes, and then he commented like was very as as Seth Long got a crazy zero to death on him, he and just went like, and so now he gets the. Uh, please don't. Oh kill Oh my god! Please don't kill him. And I have been loving. By the way, Lucario as a concept recently, I feel like there's a lot of uh, tools that Lucario has that are like really good but attached to Lucario, uh, which is somewhat unfortunate. That was a really good recovery to air dodge through the whole darn forward tilt. Mm -hmm. But you got to be careful with these recoveries as well because going on stage, Palu's going to have the speed to punish you for it. Good recognition to know that that explosive flame was coming though. Lucario might struggle a good bit in this matchup uh, against a character who has very consistent ways to get their KOs. Palutena does not struggle in that department, and that mm -hmm. means the aura won't always be a factor here. Up smash, though, coming through to punish that lack of ability to seal it out. Catches the roll, and now we're seeing aura going to be a big factor. Mm -hmm. Clipping just a, a medium aura sphere, 20%. Mm -hmm. Dash tag not quite going to do it, but we are seeing a ledge trap opportunity. Ooh, I love the down air to mix up like where he was gonna land, but he wasn't ready for the crazy grab range of Palutena. Now back at the ledge. There okay, we go. Yeah, the back air eventually comes through. We're seeing Aura's gonna die down a little bit. Mm, but look at that damage. Good conversion, catching Desley, playing around where he shouldn't be around an invincible opponent. Mm -hmm. Even if you're Palutena, man, there are some things that a goddess cannot do. Mm -hmm. These Aura Sphere mix-ups might be good to get out of disadvantage, but not so much to create offense the way that Mel is trying to do, where he's trying to reverse into Desley's zone. That Nair is a big no-mix-up area. Mm -hmm. Stay out of this circle and away from me. That's true. Very true. And now we're sitting in these percents where Lucario kind of plays like a regular character, uh, you know, with some moves that maybe don't function uh, together the way that a normal character would, but... And right now, some of the moves hit pretty hard, and they'll kill it regular percentages. <laughs> this is what I always say, is like 40 to 60% mm -hmm. is about where Lucario is a regular character. And it's when you start getting to hear where you go, mm, oh. Wow, he's really strong, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Case in point. Up Smash trying to read the roll off the ledge. A lot of people will do that in a Trump situation, but Desley did not give it to him. He waited it out, knew that there wasn't a Trump there. Oh, the back air does caught come the landing. Mm -hmm, and caught Mel probably dying away in that situation as well, trying to drift off. This is not, you know, it, it's not a it's not a lead that you oh. can't claw back. That's so unfortunate. Trying to catch the jump in that situation. That was a mix up there. Does he hold shield? Does he roll away or does he jump? Mm -hmm. I feel like they need to give that move a, like a setup hit. I don't know. It, it did have that in four. I don't know if it doesn't in this game or if it's just it doesn't scoop very far away. Yeah. yeah. Either way, 82% built up on Mel. So, I mean, he's getting he's getting real close to Max Aura, actually. He's definitely not there yet, but he's getting real close because, you know, obviously, yeah, the comeback for factor free. definitely done. For free. Mm -hmm. Remember that comeback factor. If Lucario's down a stock, that Aura will build up faster 
You already see that was almost no charge, 17%. Mm. Sitting at 119, this is a this is a make or break moment here for Desley. He needs to get the stock to consistently come through. The back throw at the ledge. Back air here. Play it safe. Great, great mix-ups by Mel's recovery. Oh That's my gosh, smash. be That's scared. Yet. Be very scared. I think he's pretty he much a max or now. He jumped into it. That could have been an opportunity for Mel to maybe run off down air. Oh, uh, he caught him running away, and that's why he's dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That was Max or Lucario. For certain, because I think he hits Max at 150, right? He hits Max actually at one... It's either 176 or 196, and it varies from move to move. That's at least knowledge from four. Oh, okay. Uh, is his, move at, his moves actually cap out at different percentages, but I know the last move that caps out is around 176 or 196. Okay. Uh, but Max Rage was 150, so it was a common misconception. Right. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Mm -hmm. But Lucario is still rather scary at 150%. I'll give you that. As you can see. Mm -hmm. Very, I mean, his moves got stronger. They deal more damage. They got a lot safer as well, so it becomes a lot scarier to just try to hold shield against him. Because you can just back air your shield and get away with it. Nair your shield, especially. Mm -hmm. Nair is a move that's like really safe even at low percents. But once you have aura, it's like, oh, okay, it's still your turn after. Does you it hit. ever become plus on block? Oh yeah. Okay. I know in four it was like plus six at max aura. Uh, and in this game, I'm not entirely sure. I, I haven't looked into the scaling because it wasn't as prevalent currently. We don't have Eclipse playing this character like he used to. Right. Right. It's but, kind of a shame because it was really funny to watch him play this character. But I, I still think that there's room for this character in the metagame, but it, it's not, it's not a uh, as as present in our in our DFW metagame. That's true. That's true. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's a, a lot of difficult matchups for Lucario here amongst our better players. And hey, you know what? It can be kind of difficult to deal with the Lucario at these high percents too, because you have to play so respectful of what he can do. Oh. But Desley, once he's got the Lucario off stage, he's been going for that up smash consistently, and you can see why. Mm -hmm. It's just active for so long, covers a lot of that range. Even it's a little bit below the ledge, so even if Lucario is trying to just snap ledge and mix you up there, it'll catch. And you can kind of get a good guess on when Lucario is going to recover because while uh, while he he does have a lot of range with that extreme speed, that speed is a little bit too extreme for just about anyone to handle. Right, and he <laughs> only has control of it for about the first half. So after the second half, the angles just kind of fly away with whatever direction was held, uh, and you, that's why you can see a lot of like weird recoveries from Lucario's go go wrong. Mm -hmm. But he has to commit early on. See, that's Such that's exactly as, what I'm talking yeah. about. He can't curve down and oh oh. Accidentally disconnected his controller. Yes, uh, as as uh, animated Mel does play with a pro controller. Mm -hmm. There we go. We're gonna see him <laughs> move back <laughs> on. Are we <laughs> good? Yeah, we're good. Yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, uh, Lucario can loop down, but not choose to loop back up because he loses control about halfway through. So you have to start looping back up early, but you don't get like a full horseshoe motion there. Mm -hmm. Not what. You, you don't have a real way instead of outside of dipping low early and not committing to the recovery to get around what Desley was looking for. Right, right. And this is not this is not over for Mel. I want you to hear, by the way, that he's got that like electricity sound yeah. on that already. That's at sixty six percent because he's got that crazy comeback back there right yep. now. Uh huh. That uh huh. Three stock deficit or two stock deficit rather. Now down by just one. Still gonna have crazy aura. Mm -hmm. And at this point, Desley will not be able to play any any of the rest of the game without Lucario with Max Aura, basically. Yeah. Uh, if we're not Max, we're rather close, and we'll we'll reach it pretty soon My on the God. last stock if we have Did to. Did you see that each of those pummels is doing like 3%? Yeah. <laughs> nice I... delays on the recovery. But again, we're trying to do these Aura Sphere mix-ups for movement, and it, oh, yeah, there we go. So that move active. is so meaty. <laughs> Look at Mel. He's like, yeah, it's a very active move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that stays out forever. Yeah. So, going to game three then, mm -hmm. you know, definitely use the power of the aura to take that game one, but even though it was certainly with him for most of game two, that's not necessarily a good thing. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't mind seeing, uh, man, I, I feel like Battlefield was actually a really good stage for them to have struck to for Mel. Like, that might be a counter pick for Lucario, to be honest, in some instances. Yeah. But I feel like, you know, PS2 wasn't a bad switch back for Desley. I'm not sure exactly where Mel would like to go. Smashville is an interesting pick. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like, I feel like uh, this is actually one 
stage where ledge trapping is usually super prevalent, but I don't think Palutena benefits from it as much as other characters do. Yeah, I mean, she's, she kind of just plays it like the one range. Mm -hmm. ledge, like, she does the one thing. Yeah, her ledge trapping is more... Um, a lot of two frames and setups directly at the ledge. Ooh, did you see Mel actually gathering the aura? <laughs> he actually pulled the... I did not. I was looking away. Oh, oh my, my god. god. He gathered all the aura out of his controller. You know what's funny? Is playing against a Lucario player, I almost don't want to tell them take that stock sometimes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because they're like, okay. No, that's that's actually... What what Mel is doing right now is he's mm -mm. baiting Desley. He says, don't, oh, do you want me to take the stock? Don't pretend. Or is it fine? Do you want me to take the stock? It's okay. Like, I, I know, like, rules we, are rules, right? We got real technical difficulties here, but... But honestly, I don't know if I would take advantage. Oh my god, dude, I would take such advantage. That'd be so funny. But hey, I mean, 78% already, and with these small side blast zones of Smashville, which is where Lucario's gonna be getting most of those kills, there let's go. see if we can take advantage. Without... Oh my goodness, I was scared. Mel's still gonna be fine, because Lucario's aerial drift is crazy. Here we go. Not gonna be able to get these connections fair to fair like you normally like to see for Lucario. I'd like to see more forward tilt out of Mel. Like, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm seeing all these forward smashes. Forward tilt is, doesn't have, like, crazy good range, but it's a lot safer. Mm, forward tilt is definitely an okay poke for Lucario. But they're, like, sometimes with this kind of this kind of aura, forward smash isn't safe, but Desley's used to being able to shield grab things as Palu. Yeah. And there, yeah. You can't drop shield grab there. You you have to basically dash attack, I think, is the punish. Ooh. Forward tilt's going to catch him. And that's that counter pick coming in to bite Mel right there. That forward tilt wouldn't have killed on a stage like Battlefield, but here, he'll be plenty close enough to that side blast zone to do it. Now we're going to see Mel have to try to claw this back as the Lucario. Yeah, Desley not taking any of that schmix. Just grabs him right out of the movement. I think what Desley just kind of needs to do right now is wait for that forward smash. It's really been the one big threatening thing to his health lately. And it's what Mel's been going for to try to catch some weird movement. So. Yeah, he's trying to catch Desley going in. Desley's not going in. Oh! Before the up smash could come out by, like, maybe a frame. Yeah. And he read the jump with the back air, too. Didn't have the range. Back throw is not going to kill yet, but it is going to set up the ledge trap. We can see, ooh, down tilt. Oh, just oh, nair. great nair, yeah, too. that was great. And, and Desley got that kill because he committed to drifting all the way off the stage mm -hmm. with that. You know, there was only one angle the Lucario can come from there. Oh, oh! good night, sir. You know what's funny? <laughs> you see Mel going, no! Because that's exactly how he got three stock by, by Oh, is Mage, it really? Is the nair into the down air. Oh, 